What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Get Real Vlogs where being controversial is my only talent. Today's video is a little different. I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite 90s and 2000s memories, things I just enjoyed growing up. So pull out your Lunchables, pull out your Mario Kart, and let's jump into the video. My favorite thing to do growing up was jumping on a trampoline. If my friend had one, I was on it. Wherever I could find a trampoline, I would go on it. I loved it so much and I learned all sorts of different tricks. Go. I actually love trampolines so much that in our neighborhood, a lady had a trampoline and she didn't care who went on it. Any of the kids in the neighborhood could go on it. So it was like a community trampoline that we would just jump on all the time, which actually brought in trampoline wrestling. In all honesty, I look back at this and realize how dangerous it actually was. We would do crazy things like flips onto each other and we could have broke our neck almost every time we got on the trampoline to do this. And of course, basketball with your friends. If you ever had the chance to go to a blacktop or if anyone had a basketball hoop, you guys all were playing pickup. I also grew up playing the drums in church and with a family band, so every weekend everyone would be over, we'd be jamming, and I just played drums all the time. I had a really nice set, so growing up, some of my favorite memories are just being on the drum set. And here's a few videos of me playing drums. At one point, skateboarding became huge, and I couldn't skateboard, I absolutely sucked at it, so I resorted to getting tech decks and doing tricks like this. I actually hit a bunch in my desk at school and would always get in trouble for flipping them during class. And since I sucked at actual skateboarding, I ended up buying all the Tony Hawk games. I loved every single Tony Hawk game, they were so much fun, especially when Tony Hawk Underground came out, you could get off your board, the story mode was great, I loved these games, they were a huge part of my childhood. Now this toy is one of the most simple toys ever created and almost every 90s kid had one. It was so easy, but it was so fun and so addicting that you would sit there for hours trying to beat your high score. And I actually have an insane story about a bop it that I owned when I was younger. I owned a bop it that I swear was haunted. Bop it ran off batteries. You would bop it, you would twist it, and you would pull it. Three different controls and it would talk to you but it would randomly turn on at night. So finally we ended up taking the batteries out because it would wake me up in the middle of the night saying, bop it. After we took the batteries out, it would still make noises and still like, do you want to play again? Do you want to play again? It was terrifying, no batteries. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure that bop it was haunted. Now, if you don't know these games, you are definitely living under a rock. The backyard sports series that you had to buy at first on a computer. And you would sit there with your mouse and click buttons and play baseball, basketball, soccer, all sorts of different games. They had all sorts of characters, including former pros, as kids. And everyone knows the best player on every single one of those games was Pablo Sanchez. The kid was a beast. He could run, he could hit, he could do anything. The kid. Now, Mighty Beans were a collectible that all the kids enjoyed growing up as well. They made no sense, they literally were beans, and they were kind of like Pokemon cards. Some were more valuable than others. They had ones that changed different colors, they had different tiers, they had superhero ones, and you could race them. That really wasn't what they were made for, more like collection. And I still have them to this day, and I wonder if they're worth any money anymore. I hope so, that'd be great. Now, if you never had a Furby, then consider it a blessing. These things were so weird. They were like gremlins, and these things actually talked. I don't know how technology was made like this back in the 90s. I think I got mine in 98. I got a few. They would talk to each other at night. They started speaking their own language. They learned your name. They learned its own name. It was the freakiest thing in the world. I don't even know, man. It's freaking weird. I feel bad for kids these days who never got to grow up watching Steve Irwin, the Crocodile Hunter. This show was amazing. This guy was the real deal. He loved animals. He had so much knowledge on them, and his show was amazing. Nothing today compares to what he used to do. And the poor man wrestling with crocodiles passed away from a stingray. Rest in peace, Steve Irwin. The best ever. And if you never built a snow fort growing up, what were you doing with your life? If it's snowing, you better be out there building a fort or throwing snowballs. I used to build them all the time. 
the best memories on a Friday evening after school is going to Blockbuster to go rent a couple movies and maybe, if you were lucky, even a video game. We did not have Blockbuster where I grew up. We had a place called Movie Stars, which was just as good, and they gave you free popcorn when you left. Now we have Redbox, Netflix, and Blockbuster. I'm pretty sure there's only one open in the whole entire world. The best days growing up in gym were when the teacher would pull out these scooters. You were zooming all over the gym, and sometimes you'd even pinch your finger. I loved going on these things, and to this day at Camp Petty Run, we still use them. They're a blast. As a kid, this was the best store to go to, Toys R Us. It had everything, all different sorts of toys, trading cards, video games, movies, everything. And the whole store just looked happy. If you were a kid, you definitely wanted to be here. Sundays after church growing up, my parents would take me here all the time, and they'd let me ride in the little toy gas-powered cars. Well, actually, the electric ones that go only like 5 miles an hour, all throughout the aisles until I got kicked out of the store every time. A lot of people aren't going to know what this is, but this is Nintendogs for the original DS. I remember buying my DS when I was a kid and just playing this game for hours. I had a pug, a wiener dog, a German Shepherd, and I trained them really well, and it was so much fun. The game is great to this day. This was actually the first phone I ever had. It's called the LG Chocolate. I had a black one, and it was prepaid. The phone actually sucked, but I loved it so much when I was younger. And last but not least, Disney Channel movies. Every single night at 8 o'clock, Disney Channel would play an original movie. And they would pop these movies out like crazy. Some examples are the High School Musical movie, Pretty Sure Holes. There's a bunch of different Disney Channel original movies. They were great, and they came on every single night at 8 o'clock. And when this song came on, you knew it was going to be a good night. I loved watching these movies when I was here watching. I hope you enjoyed this nostalgia episode of Get Real Vlogs. We will catch you next time. It's been a while since I uploaded. This is a real weird video, but I was bored and just wanted to upload something. So I hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Catch you guys next time.